everybody, Heather from New Zealand here. Day 15 of our Fly Lady journey. We're gonna be adding a really good habit today that is all about creating momentum so you can get your day going and um, be more efficient with your cleaning rather than tripping yourself up all the time. Also, we're gonna talk about what happens when you love the Fly Lady system but it's not quite coming together for you. You don't feel like really you're able to do it. So we'll talk about that as well. So keep watching and we'll start day 15. So we're on day 15, which this is the start of our second week of the Fly Lady. And if you're anything like me, after, I can do anything for two weeks. I can diet for two weeks. I can do exercise programs for two weeks. I can set up new systems around my house and do it for two weeks. However, when I start to approach that two week barrier, I kind of get floppy around the edges. Things start to kind of, um, fall apart a bit and I find that I'm doing things less and less and then I kind of just push that to one side. There's another thing that I've failed at and um, I, I lose the benefits of that I might have received if I'd kept going. So if you're finding that your fly lady journey is getting a bit wobbly, maybe the wheels have already come off, keep listening to the end because it's something I'd like to talk about. However, I do want to get this habit underway first. So. Of course, we've done our, we've shown our sink. I hope we've shown our sink. We're dressed to shoes. Um, we've we've uh, got some ticks in our control journal. We've done all of that. Um, I've I've finished my morning routine, and I've also um, had a fifteen minute break to say, "Yay, go me! I've done it." So, um, if you need to stop the video and do some of those things, please do because we need to make those a priority and get those done before we start doing other things. Now, the habit that we're gonna to add today really isn't world shattering, but it does have the, a, a world shattering effect I have found on my day. So you've probably been told to do this since you were a relatively small child. It might be one of your habits already, in which case, yay, go you. <laughs> but it's making your bed. Now, Fly Lady wants you to make your bed first thing in the morning. Literally, stand up and make your bed. Doesn't seem really that big a deal, does it? Um, but it's something that is very easily overlooked. And the significance, of, the significance of it is very easy to underestimate. I have a understanding of cleaning, which um, I can kind of put into two, two sentences. Clean breeds clean, mess breeds mess. What do I mean by that? If you have, if you do a little bit of cleaning, you will find that you're more, more likely to do a little bit more of cleaning. If you've got a mess, that mess is going to grow. Let me give you an example. Um, in the mornings, um, I get up and I make my bed. <laughs> and then I head into to my bathroom, I have my shower, I come out of my bedroom, I'm dressed to shoes, ready. I usually have stuff, I'm usually carrying stuff, like I'll have my dressing gown, I might have some dirty washing, um, my slippers, anything else that might need to come out of the bathroom. Now, I have noticed, without exception, that if that bed is not made, I will dump all of that on the bed without even thinking. So, mess, my messy bed, has very easily bred some more mess, and now I've got a hot spot to clean up. Now, if I leave that, it's going to start breeding. I won't notice the fact that there's a pile of clothes on the chair or that the nightstand has got heaps of stuff on. It's breeding. The mess in the bedroom is breeding. Now, different scenario. I get up, I make my bed, I go have my shower, I get dressed to shoes, I come through with an armful of laundry. What happens? I hesitate for a moment. I don't want to put it on that nice, clean bed. <laughs> And in that, in that split second, I make a decision that, almost unconsciously, that, okay, I'll put the dirty wash straight in the dirty wash, I'll put the rubbish in the bin, I'll turn around, and all of that stuff has gone away. All I've done different is I've made my bed first thing in the morning. But my brain has made some very different decisions without me even noticing. So that's the, that is the trick with today's um, habit that you're starting with this clean space and that's going to encourage you to make better 
it's decisions around what you do in the house. Now, as you walk through that room during the day, um, you're going to get a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a buzz, like oh, that's clean. Or you're going to get a little of a down. Oh, I haven't made the bed. I really should get round to that. Uh, and then it's very easy to go onto a negative. Um, thought patterns about yourself because you haven't made the bed. So let's add this to our control journal, um, make your bed. Now everybody has different styles of making beds and I'm not really going to go into that here. Um, find something that works for you. Um, people, Some people like you know sheets and lots of blankets and lots of pillows and that's their style. If, if that's you, go for it. It's kind of a lot to do, but you know, if, you, if it brings you joy, you go for that. Some people just like a straight um, duvet cover that they flick and it's and smooth it out and it's done. So whatever's working for you, but make your bed first thing in the morning. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was the two, two weeks barrier. Now, I, I have to talk for myself because obviously I don't know what what you're like, what your patterns are. You might not have this problem um, and it might not be a two week problem for you. It might be a couple of days, it might be a couple of months, I don't know. But for me, there seems to be a pattern around the two weeks. I can do anything for two weeks. I can diet for two weeks. I can exercise for two weeks. I can take on any new project and stick to it beautifully for two weeks. As I approach that two week kind of barrier, I find that I'm coming up with excuses of, of not doing it as well, missing bits off. Um, it's starting to kind of fall apart. I'm getting a bit bored with it or um, I'm feeling a bit of resistance within myself to it. And usually by the end of two weeks, I start kind of pushing that aside and putting it away as, oh, that's something I tried, but it didn't really quite work. Now, with I've done this with the fly lady system. It's been exactly the same. It's a, it's a pattern. Now, I've spent a lot of time thinking, why does this happen for me? And in particular, why, why has this happened in the past with the fly lady and how have I been able to break through it? And I've worked out that there are a couple of very simple things that I'm not doing um, or that I am doing that are causing this problem. So. The first thing that I've noticed is I go 100% on something. I'm an all or nothing person, you know. Um, if I'm going to do a diet, it has to be right down to the letter. If it's not perfect, I'm not doing it. Sound familiar? Um, and that's something that the fly lady spends a lot of time talking about and how... Often people with very messy houses are actually perfectionists, which doesn't kind of equate, but I kind of, I get that because if I can't do it perfectly, I get upset about it. So I'm wondering if maybe that's part of the factor if, you, if you're kind of starting to get a bit wobbly on these fly lady um, things, maybe you're doing too much, you know, maybe, maybe you're shining the sink is kind of turning into cleaning the whole kitchen you know scrubbing the floors <laughs> oh look there's some cobwebs up there go and get those while you're shining your sink maybe that's what you're doing i don't know um the other thing that um i've noticed that i do a lot is and, and i say in my mind i haven't got time to do that i haven't got time to empty the dishwasher I haven't got time to shine my sink. I haven't got time to look out, out my clothes for tomorrow and hang them up. I'll do it later. I'll do these jobs later. I'll catch up. It'll be okay. Now, those are really interesting excuses. I mean, let's go back to the beginning. I haven't got time. Really? Have you not got time? Have you actually worked out how long it takes to empty your dishwasher? Have you worked out how long it takes to find your clothes? I bet you would spend more time watching TV or doing something, playing a game on your iPad, doing something that's unproductive than, you, than it would take to do something that it's productive. So before you tell yourself, I haven't got time to do that, check out how long it takes to do it before you say it. Okay? It may, you may find it's a matter of minutes and actually you do have time. 
<laughs> so think about those thoughts. I mean, I've got some other observations and ideas as well that I will share with you. And, and how come when something doesn't work for you, have you noticed why it's not working? Maybe pop it in the comments below because I would really love to hear. There may be some things that I'm not noticing about myself that you could help me with and I'd really appreciate that. So, okay, so that's day 15. We've, uh, we're going through our program. We're gonna make our bed, um, add it to our control journal. So let's use this habit today to get our momentum going. Okay, to get our momentum going in the direction we want it to go, because that's the beauty of the day 15 activity. You make your bed, you're already on a roll. You haven't done anything but make your bed, you're already rolling in a positive vein. Let's get that going and let's get that underway. And I'll see you tomorrow on day 16. And um, have a lovely day. <laughs> Bye.